How about it, everybody? Big Bruce here, bringing you a quick weekend haul video from Big Bad Small Cars. And, uh, man, I took a big bite today. My brother Ben, that collects with me, is a treasure hunt, uh, chase piece kind of guy. And I came across all these 1993 Johnny Lightning White Lightnings. Check these bad boys out. The cards are all pretty pristine. Very nice condition. I did not exactly pay the sticker price because I did go big dog and I bought the entire collection that the guy had. I, uh, I'm not sure if any of the, uh, there's any other ones in this collection. I can't find any real info on these. So you guys let me know if we're missing any out of this White Lightning set from 1993. <clears throat> but I don't think we are. I think we have them all. But the cards are all in very good shape. You know, I love the Roadsters. But yeah, we, uh, we got a pretty decent price on them, on the whole lot, actually. I also picked these up from the same gentleman, also part of the 1993 Johnny Lightning commemorative limited edition set. And I love my Roadsters. So these guys had to go home. They will be getting cracked. Matter of fact, the only one of the White Lightnings that I did keep for my own collection is the Roadster. <clears throat> Finally got my hands on the uh, the Bone Shaker. I'm finally starting to get a few of the solid roof Bone Shakers. Got very few of them. Uh, this guy, I don't know if I'm going to crack him though because he'll look good hanging around the Bone Shaker collection. Uh, that's got some awesome card art. So I mean, you got to find me another one so I can have one on the card to hang on the wall. Just that card art's badass. These are like these ones right here. I love this card art, but check this guy out, man. It is uh, it's the Bad Medicine. It's got the skeleton guy inside of it, the driver. The coin's right, the card's right. That piece right there is making my brother Ben drool. Nice piece. We got one of the, uh, the widows. Right, no, what is it called again? Tarantula. Yeah, the tarantula. This thing is sweet, man. Look at his webs on the back. Those things are bad. That's a real pretty car. And I, like I said, I got a pretty decent price on all of them because I bought bulk. It does help sometimes to go big dog and just buy it in bulk. And this is the bad man. I, uh, Ben's got a really nice uh, collector set. And this car is in, in yellow. That's in a glass case. Or, or plexiglass case. So I picked that one up for him too. We're always looking out for each other. It is good to have yourself a local Hot Wheels buddy. And then I possibly been looking for one of these. So we'll take him home. We will crack him and uh, put some real riders on him. That'll be going into Pops' collection. He, uh, he built one of these models when he was younger. He had mentioned something about it one night. We looked it up. And he dug it. So I found it. We do, we do find some goodies, but uh, the cream of the crop in this one is definitely the VW. It's a very nice car. I think it's just badass. These are real primitive castings of Johnny's and stuff, man. They're rough. The, uh, the wheel wells don't always sit well. Back when Johnny just didn't really give a crap, but I think it makes them that much cooler. We dig that kind of stuff around here. But like I said, I think I found the whole collection on these these white lightnings from this year. And uh, one of those deals where when you see it, it may have been out of the budget a little bit, but it was time to grab it up or it would have been pieced out and there would have been a piece here and a piece there. And It's a shame to split up such a nice collection. Uh, you know, this stuff ain't getting no newer. This guy is really nice. He's got a little flea bite on the hood right there. There's a little piece sitting in the pack. My brother Ben may crack him. We are we are cracking family of collectors. Matter of fact, this guy right here is a very nice piece. Love the Roadsters. That rumble seat is uh, looks like it's too much fun to play with. So let's uh, go ahead and free this guy right now. I'll tell you what, Ben, you, uh, you want to hold the camera for me for a second, brother, so I can open him up properly? 
Just go ahead and hold him right there for me. I appreciate it. Sometimes you get a little assistance when you're doing crack. Oh yeah. You smell that, ladies and gentlemen? It smells like fresh white lightning crack. Oh yeah. Don't need to be no stinking card. The coins are pretty cool. Let's see if we can get the phone to focus. Focus. Autofocus. Autofocus sucks. Anyways. But this is a, the coins. They say bonus on them. There we go. Finally focused. I notice everybody has a problem with their autofocus. But check this guy out. Oh, it looks so much better out of there. They, uh, they're actually starting to discolor being inside the packages. See a little bit of that brown kind of hue going from around the back tire. And I did notice that there's a little bit on the jag. On the hood. So I don't know what's caused by that. Maybe it's the, the fumes from the red paint and stuff in the back. Let's see if we can get this to rubble seat to open up here. Oh, the rubble seat don't open, Ben. Mm. Or it's stuck. Well, we'll play with that a little bit, but yeah, look, look at the roughness of the castings on these guys. There's crap all in the grills. The bodies are super rough. I mean, this is like it would be a China car. It's a little cheap, poorly made one. But it's a good old collectible Johnny. Love it. We, we're weird. We, we like the the loose little, you know, cheap cars and some of the nice ones. I found a nice little Matchbox Lesney. Hey, Ben, where's that uh, one I got you today? Uh, what was it? The Mustang. Out here. But yeah, that's a nice little piece. Really nice little Porsche I picked up. A little S2000. I just got a few of these from Will and Witters, my first ones, so I found him out in the loose. This guy's a really nice little piece. A little black wall. I like him played with. Love it. He's going to go up on the black wall collection shelf. Then my buddy Ben found me a grail piece. Another one of the ones I was hunting. It's the uh, the Lesney. The metal body. It's still got the Thunderbird on the back and everything. Thing is super awesome. My brother was looking out for me on that one. And he likes these little, little guys right here. The El Cheapo Fox Body Mustangs. Thing is too cool. I got him a chrome one the other day that was really rough. This guy's minty fresh. And uh, I'd say well, they look really good with wheel swaps and stuff, but we like them too, just in the way they are. They're neat, you know. These a lot of these things get trash and everything, so they may not be the most highly collectible, but sometimes these mean more to us than a twenty dollar car. And we've been known to pay a dollar for these little cheap things sometimes. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and Show these off to you guys. My brother picked these up for me. Matchbox carded Indy 500 cars. These things are super, super sweet. And all the coins say something different. So he went through and picked the cream of the crop out. I do not, these are the one things I do not open up because uh, I have a wall of Matchbox. And Matchbox is number one to me. Uh, but they just look really good hanging on display on my wall until I get enough shelves. So I don't crack all my Matchboxes. And these guys are going to look great hanging on the wall. That's just a... I just got a massive wall of yellow and orange. It's full of Matchbox goodness. These things are so cool. This, this is just a beautiful car. The driver's sitting in the seat and everything. But he found some goodies. Really nice cars. And the cars are in pretty dang good shape. Just killer. Really nice rides. My brother was looking out for me while I was busting my butt on the Kubota tractors. Another nice little piece. Love my Peter Bilts and stuff. His tankers are just great. I really want to open them up and play with them, but I also like to look at them on my wall. I really enjoy it when I get to sit back and look at them. He found this funky little guy. That thing is too cool. A little record with tracks on the back. Just a neat little piece. Then he found this, man. We got a bad scalper problem around here, and I tried to work some deals on Instagram, but everybody wanted either way too much or 
One guy tried to sell me like 14 of them. I'm like, look, scalper, I only need like one, dude. I don't, I don't need 14. I like to have two, one to customize, one to have a stock, but or maybe even three, one to hang on the wall, one to customize, one to have stock opened up. But he will get cracked, and he will go up with my uh, my Nissan shelf. Sweet little guy. Look at the tampos and everything on the back of him. Really nice car. And I picked up Ben a Tootsie, but unfortunately we are trying to straighten out the axle on the Tootsie, and we broke the wheel off, so I'll go home and fix him. But uh, Ben loves his Tootsies and stuff. He's been collecting those. So we've been hunting some. And then another little piece, he's got the flap tied down on him. They're little plastic dragsters, but they're pretty pretty darn cool. Uh, definitely a nice little piece to add to the collection. We'll uh, go home and hang him up with the rest of them. But yeah, I, uh, I appreciate everybody watching, man. As always, feel free to leave comments and stuff. Sorry I haven't been really getting back to everybody on that. Uh, work has been absolutely insane. Um, but I got some more videos coming. Uh, I got some weekend hauls uh, from past to do. Uh, matter of fact, who knows, this video may be old by the time it uploads. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. As always, check out the Instagram page. We try to throw pictures up on there all we can. And everybody, take it easy.